Welcome back to my animation channel. Thanks very much for joining me. Today I'm going to look at Kumo Works, which is a great app for drawing clouds. It was released by the same people that released Open Tunes. That's Dwango. And it is a cloud generator. In the past, I used to draw all my clouds um, in Krita, and I've made a video about that. I find creating clouds quite relaxing and enjoyable, but then I did come across Kumo Works and it really does take a lot of the time and the frustration out of getting your lighting etc. Right, so I can highly recommend it. So to find it, go to the GitHub website where you can download OpenTunes. Scroll down and Kumo Works is at the bottom. You scroll down to the download download it and it's a very basic install open it up and there is your working screen It's very very simple bottom left of the toolbox you can add your cloud just click on the tool there and you can go and draw in your cloud it will close the drawing and then press enter and it will take a few seconds and it will render a cloud within that rough squiggle of a line that you've drawn very 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 cool it's got a bunch of sliders on the left and at the bottom it's got a sun, that dot there is the sun reference and you can grab it and move it around to move the shadows around the cloud and you can use the sky render slider to, to make it brighter, darker etc etc. You can adjust the camera, field of view, the elevation etc, all those sliders on the left. You can also bring in a background. You don't have to use the set background. You can import a background. Top left there, you, you can import your background. And also you can create multiple clouds. So we're just drawing a few clouds here. And then on the bottom left, you can put one cloud above the other or in front of the other. You move the sun around and it automatically renders the clouds, sh the shadow and the cloud using that source of the sun. The other cool thing is that once you've scribbled out your rough cloud, you can go down to the bottom left and we'll just zoom in here. It's got all the different types of clouds. So although you've drawn a rough sketch, you can select a Alto Stratus, Culin, Nimbus, Cumulus, Fluffy. You can select a default. You can have Fractus, No Noise, Volcanic, Smoke and Alto Stratus. It sounds like we're going back to school geography but they're all down there in the bottom left so it will actually create one of those cloud types from your rough sketch very cool here we select the alter stratus here we select the cumulus numbers and it doesn't change a whole lot so let's try the volcanic smoke and after you make a selection just hit enter and it will render it that's looking pretty cool let's select the other cloud just by clicking on it or you can use the bottom left box and let's make that one a fractus cloud so it's nice and fluffy so if you want to add a, another cloud just go down to the layers section in the bottom left click add nice little cloud icon there and it will add a, a new cloud cloud 3 and we go sketch it in and then we can go and select what type of cloud we want we are going for the flat unpronounceable one alter stratus cloud and there we go, hit enter and it renders out your nice Altostratus cloud. So once we've done all this, we can save it. Just go up to the top left, save scene, go put it where you want it. We can also render these out, go up to the top left, click the render button and it gives you a few options. You can render each cloud as a separate image. You can render the current selected cloud only, or you can combine all the clouds that you have on your scene and render them together. So it gives you those three options. We select the last one, so it will render all three clouds together. You can choose the scene size, either the whole scene that's on the screen or just the bounding box of the cloud. So just that cloud. You can render with or without background. You can render it as a no background, you can render it as a composite with a background or you can render the background separately and you can select your rendering quality, full quality, half, third or quarter. You select your folder, give it a name and you press render and it will render it out to that folder. Very straightforward, very simple. So there are clouds rendered. It's a PNG with no background. To use them, we're going to open OpenTunes and go and find the file. We select a column 
to import it into. We find the file, we select import, and there are our clouds with no background. So a very cool way to, to create your clouds. Of course, the one thing it doesn't do is animate the clouds. So in OpenTunes, I guess there's several ways you could animate it. Here we're just going to put a, our own background on it. So I'm creating a vector box and I just fill it with some blue sky. We look at the basic way, just set a key frame at frame 1 and move it across to say frame 23, 24 and render that out and that's a slow drift of clouds with, on a breezy day. Maybe what you want to do is you want to apply some plastic to these clouds and make them move with, within themselves and we can do that so that they are moving like fluffy bits of candy floss in the sky. Um, Maybe coming over a mountain top, they do something like that, or if if you're flying through them in an aircraft, etc. So various ways you can animate the clouds out. But this is a very cool tool to use. It's a standalone app. It's not part of OpenTunes, but as I say, it's released by the same people who released OpenTunes. So very cool little app to use to create your your clouds. So I'll be covering this and a lot more in my Animating with OpenTunes course that is currently being created. Please have a look at that. The course will cover some basics. We'll go through drawing in OpenTunes, animating the various ways to animate in OpenTunes, some advanced tools and techniques that are available in OpenTunes. We'll go through some extra tips and tricks that you can use. And then at the end of the course, I'll have some examples of real animation work that I've done. And I'll break it down showing how I created these scenes in OpenTunes. So that's all in the Animating with OpenTunes course. You can find that by clicking the link in the description here. And again, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel here, please go ahead and subscribe. You can also subscribe to my mailing list if you want to receive news from my animation channel. And otherwise, that's it. Thanks very much for joining me and I wish you all the best. Bye.